November ballot uh, in the three BART counties that would reinvest in the BART system. It's a $3.5 billion bond uh, that will go towards necessary capital needs, some of the big life cycle costs um, that a middle-aged transit system needs, things like um, uh, replacement of track, replacement of a, a lot of our power systems, which are original to the system, and uh, a train control system, the, the computer-operated uh, system that drives the trains. Well, I'm, I'm going to vote no on it, uh, on this bond measure, reluctantly. Uh, BART is critically important uh, to our region and to so many people who use it, and to the many people who, who commute on the freeways and, and want those passageways to be allow them to get to work and to school in a reasonable amount of time. So we need this BART system to work. It is, has aged uh, over its 45 years of existence. Uh, but my problem with the measure that's put before us is that it's not based on a comprehensive capital plan that shows how we're going to fund this system over the next two or three decades. And we've got a plan. Um, this is an abbreviated version of it, but there's a much bigger, an 80-page version of it. And it really outlines what I was talking about earlier, the asset management plan looking at every component, it's useful life, rating those based on priority, and then making the smartest investments we can. So we, we at this point have a pretty good understanding of the systems that make up BART, uh, how long they're gonna last, um, when they need to be replaced, how long they'll last after they're replaced, and uh, what the consequences of not reinvesting are. They can use this money from this bond to backfill salaries and benefits uh, to their workforce the highest paid workforce in the country. And so there can be a bait and switch involved in what's before us because they haven't given us, the taxpayers, the protections that we need. So while they claim this money is going for technology and station upgrades uh, and the rest, that in fact uh, they can use over a billion dollars to backfill uh, salaries and benefits. And it's one of a number of flaws with the measure. I mean, we couldn't even write bond language that would allow us to do that because the state constitution defines what you can do with bonds. So, um, yeah, there, there's just no way that we can do what some of the critics uh, are accusing us of actually intending to do. Uh, another thing I'd ask people to look at is look at BART's record with other bonds uh, that we've issued, like the earthquake safety bond. Uh, and look at BART's record, um, at least for the 20 years that I've been at BART, and, and for longer than that, of every year putting away money from our operating budget to our capital budget. So critics have been saying, oh, BART, you're going to take all this money from your capital budget, put it into your operating budget. In fact, BART has been doing the opposite. The problem I have uh, is that the BART board can't be trusted. And the things that they have said and that they have done have been 180 degrees opposite. But I think if you look at BART on the whole, uh, and you look at our record, uh, and you look at what we're able to do, uh, and you compare us to any other transit agency uh, in the country, you compare us to any other government in the region, uh, BART a, is a good steward of public funds. But a careful examination of their proposal shows that what they claim this is going to cost us as homeowners is not really based, uh, backed up by the facts. And while they say it might cost uh, someone 40 or 50 bucks, it actually may be four times that when you break down the numbers. If uh, you think that BART's been an asset to the Bay Area in the past 45 years uh, and you want to see us uh, be able to carry on and do more for the region uh, in years to come, uh, Measure RR is a necessary investment uh, in keeping BART safe and reliable, uh, making our roads less congested, keeping our region livable and economically vital. By the way, this bond, this $3.5 billion bond, not a penny is going to go to replacing the trains, not a dime, to uh, getting new, new train cars. Uh, it's going to go for technology and stations and, and escalators and elevators and those types of things. And so it's not even going to be dealing with the heart of the, of the BART uh, deterioration, which is in the rail cars themselves. These are the real capital needs that we have, you know, so they're not in some ways the sexiest, you know, what we, you know, rail cars are something that I think people are really excited about and it's something that you touch and you feel and that uh, is a lot more tangible uh, to riders and to voters. So, you know, if we could do a bond for rail cars, we'd say, okay, well, maybe that's sexier to voters. Uh, I think the stuff that we're talking about here, track, electrical systems, train control, you know, aren't the aspects of the system that you really see. Uh, or have a first-hand experience with. Uh, you don't touch them, or hopefully you don't touch them. Uh, but, uh, you know, if they're not working, if they fail, then the consequences are big, and those are, they're pretty immediately felt. 
uh, you know, unfortunately, I think that the, there's going to be continued deterioration. But it does mean that because of this failure of leadership by the BART board and the BART managers that we are stuck with old tired trains and, and all the rest. And that's very unfortunate. But they're asking us for such an enormous amount of money to make up for their shortcomings. And for me, it comes to a point where I don't think you should reward bad behavior. I don't see uh, a way to you know either go to the fare box and ask riders to pay a lot more than they're paying now. I don't really see the state or the federal government stepping up and saying, oh, here, Bart, here's a few billion dollars um, that we had extra. Uh, so I think we need to go back to the voters. Um, but on the, you know, the, the, the downside of this bond losing and us going to the voters uh, in a few years later, well, one, you know, the, the, the need may be more um, kind of present for voters because BART will be even more run down than it is today. I mean, the folks are noticing now um, the systems that are aging and the effect it's having on their ride. Um, they'll notice that more uh, in the years to come.